all around the world yesterday, haggard man-hating feminists in their late 30s and beyond, struggling against the tide of time, feeling the male gaze rapidly desert them as their eggs dry up and their social currency diminishes, descended into absolute fury at the news that Leonardo DiCaprio is having a relationship with a 19-year-old aspiring model. When you're an aspiring model, of course, what could be a better move in life than hooking up with possibly the world's most famous film star? Suddenly her picture's in every newspaper, she's being offered lucrative modelling contracts, clothes designers are paying her to wear their clothes, and all she's got to do is lounge around on a super yacht or attend a glamorous award ceremony. What a terrible life. What horrendous exploitation. I mean, a lot of 19-year-old women are working shifts in McDonald's to fund their uni degree and then having to lend money to their boyfriend their own age who's cheating on them with their friends. Clearly those girls are in full control of their lives, empowered women. Heaven forbid they should be exploited by a multi-millionaire high status film star who women around the world have spent the past two and a half decades leching after, who happens to be 48 but looks 30. Let's be clear about DiCaprio seeing a 19 year old woman. It's a good deal for her and it's a good deal for him. Yes, it's transactional, just like every other relationship between a man and a woman. The only people getting outraged about this and treating it as some sort of crime or labelling it creepy are women who are struggling with the ageing process. Women who had their time in the sun, threw themselves at their own DiCaprios in their youth and are furious that they can't cling on to it. Furious that those years between the ages of 18 and 30, when they had attention, power and influence because of their youth and looks, are now behind them. Furious that they no longer have youth and appearance as a currency and have to stand on their own two feet, make an honest living and succeed on their own tenacity, hard work and merit in life rather than what was gifted to them genetically. For certain women, life gets a lot tougher after 30, and of course they resent women that are younger than them, and the men their own age that now ignore them in favour of pursuing these younger women. They hate that power shift. Young women have more currency than young men, and older men have more currency than older women. And of course, if you're an ageing woman, you're going to absolutely despise that reality, and probably fall into the trap of being embittered by it. But there is balance and fairness in it, of course, for anyone who cares to look. Let DiCaprio pursue younger women and let them make the most of his wealth, fame and status. He's not the first to tread such a path in life and he won't be the last. On behalf of beleaguered men in their 40s everywhere, I hope he's having fun. Please do like and subscribe and support my comedy via Patreon or PayPal by following the links below this video.